Do you want to see how the Alienware graphics amplifier gets on against a, a desktop using four different graphics cards? Well, let's find out. Hi, this is Stephen from Owner Disown. So you hear a lot about a graphics amplifier or an external uh, graphics dock to boost your uh, laptop's gaming performance, essentially giving you uh, desktop class performance uh, and uh, extending actually the gaming uh, lifespan of your laptop. There are a number of uh, options uh, out there for you to take a look at. There's the uh, GDC uh, PCI Express dock, Thunderbolt uh, 3 docks uh, like the Razer Core and the MSI GUS. Uh, and also the Alienware amplifier, which uses its uh, own 40 gigabits per second interface, running four PCI Express lanes and the graphics cards up to 375 watts. The other connections on the amplifier are for USB ports. So what I want to do here is actually see how well my uh, Alienware 15 R2 from 2015 copes. It has an i7-4710HQ CPU and see, pitch it against the desktop with the i7-4790K at 4.7 GHz using four video cards, a GTX 1970, uh, a 980 Ti, a GTX 1080 and a uh, GTX 1080 Ti. I test at 1080p, which is the, the laptop's native resolution, also at 3440 by 1440 and also at 4K or 3840 by 2160. So let's look at uh, 1080p results. First up is Doom. This footage shows the uh, amplifier with uh, the 1080 Ti. The GPU utilization is about 40% and the CPU about 50%. The desktop and the 1080 Ti has a similar GPU utilization of 40%, but the CPU is lower at 40%. The GPU is running at about 40 megahertz faster on the desktop. The GTX 970 is in red, with the amplifier giving 75 FPS versus the desktop 93. Upping the G to the GTX 1080, the amp again was at 75 FPS, whilst the desktop increased to 145. Doom does like fast CPU, so it looks like the 4710HQ in the laptop is actually a bottleneck. Interestingly, even an overclocked 4790K bottlenecks a 1080 Ti at 1080p in this game. Now for Grand Theft Auto V. With the 1080 Ti, the amp has about 40% GPU and 50% uh, CPU utilization. The desktop, however, has about 95% GPU and 50% uh, CPU utilization. Now, Grand Theft Auto V is another game that loves fast CPUs, and the amplifier doesn't see much improvement moving from a GTX 970 to a 1080 Ti at all, whilst the desktop sees a nice jump from the 980 Ti to the uh, 1080 Ti. The CPU, again, is a bottleneck, for the 1080 Ti at 1080p. The laptop CPU just cannot keep up with the desktop. Mafia 3. This slide shows exactly what GPU is suited for that uh, 4710 HQ in the laptop. The GTX 970 in the amplifier gives 39 FPS versus 42 in the desktop, so that is close. Step, step that up to a GTX 1080 and the FPS in the desktop is nearly doubled. Now for Metro Last Light. With the 980 Ti, the uh, amplifier shows 80% GPU and 70% CPU utilization, which isn't too bad, but still shows a 20% deficit versus the desktop. I actually had a result from the internal GTX 980M in the laptop, and stepping up to the GTX 1080 did help by about 26%, but as you can see on the desktop, it should have been closer to 100%. This does call into question the validity of using a dock when the uh, laptop CPU is such a limiting factor. You have to bear in mind the 4710HQ is not much slower than the 6700HQ, found in many of today's gaming laptops. Rainbow Six Siege at max settings is very GPU uh, dependent. Um, we see here using a 980 Ti it gives 99% GPU utilization which is great. Using a GTX 970, we get similar performance between the, the amp and the desktop at around about 50 FPS. Even with the GTX 980 Ti, the amp actually outperforms the desktop and upping to the uh, GTX 1080, we actually see a similar frame rate too. This is an excellent example that should the game require pure GPU horsepower, using a dock makes a lot of sense. Now finally, Rise of the Tomb Raider in DX11 at 1080p. 
Using the 1080 Ti at uh, 1080p, the amp gives 55% GPU utilization, which shows that this, uh, the GPU is not a good match for this 4710HQ. The amplifier gives similar performance between the GTX 1080 and 1080 Ti, whilst the desktop saw a big improvement. The laptop CPU again is the bottleneck. Let's look at 3440 by 1440 resolution. Even at this resolution, Grand Theft Auto V is CPU dependent, with only 64% GPU utilization with the 1080 Ti. The desktop outperforms by the amplifier by 37% with the uh, GTX 1080 and 60% with the 1080 Ti. Why is uh, the Tomb Raider? The, the GPU utilization is good, it's 97%. The gap in performance is still uh, there, but it is a more respectable 20%. Now let's turn to 4K. Metro last slide using the uh, 1080 Ti. We still see the amplifier trailing the uh, desktop by 20%. I'm inclined to think this is a bandwidth issue um, with only four PCI Express lanes available on the amplifier. We see a similar situation with Grand Theft Auto V at 4K. Using the 1080 Ti, the amplifier is down by 18%. Still, you get a good uh, frame rate, so connecting uh, to an external uh, high resolution monitor makes so much sense. So to conclude, the effectiveness uh, of an external uh, graphics dock uh, and high-end uh, graphics card actually only makes sense if you uh, have a powerful CPU ideally, an i7-7700 uh, HQ or better um, I would recommend. Um, but I'd still recommend outputting to an external high uh, resolution monitor if possible to limit any CPU bottleneck. Now, uh, thank you for watching and uh, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye now.